Hello dear guys, good evening. Uh, today I want to introduce to you an important uh, useful tool with name of DMAP, Drought Monitoring and Prediction Tool. Alright, uh, first of all you need to uh, this point that how do you, uh, how can you prepare it? It's really easy. Uh, so you should to go, you should go to Agrimasoft website. Uh, by uh, type the address of Agrimasoft here, and after that you can go to uh, products tab. In commercial tools you can find these tools. D map. Okay, I click, I click in the D map. In this page, you can see all the important tips about DMAP. Uh, around 20 uh, indices, this tool can calculate around uh, 20 indices for you. We uh, prepared different uh, uh, description and uh, reference about these tools. As well, there is a useful table here uh, for your information to prepare it. For example, a student license, uh, the, the price, and uh, uh, the available systems that you can get key for them. And as well, two versions of the map. The first one is um, this one, uh, version 1.0, and the second one, the version of 1.1. In the second one, uh, you can uh, this. It has a very interesting. Uh, uh, I mean, that interesting things about uh, read the NC and NC4 data. Uh, okay. After you uh, get the license and get the uh, registration key, uh, you can uh, get the tools and install in your system. Very easy. Okay. This is the main uh, screen of this uh, tool. And uh, first of all, you need to load the data, the input data. It is important to know that uh, you need to the station data if you want to use in situ data. Uh, all the data you can uh, get it for the input in Excel format file. Okay, uh, first of all, you should click open file. Then open file, click it. After that, you need to load and browse the data input file. Okay, I click it. After that, uh, this uh, this tab uh, shows the different sheets in that Excel file. Uh, I have different sheets in this Excel file, but my intent sheet is Mashhad. This the station, the synoptic station name is Mashhad. I click it, and you can see the contents of this Excel file here. Okay. Uh, there are different uh, important tips related to the, related this step. Okay, as you can see here, if your data has a uh, deliminate, uh, I mean that uh, deliminate a uh, deliminator uh, as deliminator, I mean that uh, you can, for example, as comma, double quotation, or everything, you can uh, uh, type it here. If there isn't any deliminator, so you can omit it. Uh, the second step um, is about uh, the format of uh, the date of uh, content of uh, uh, input data. Uh, all the time you can select this uh, uh, I mean the format here uh, as this one. You can see 1979 as the first year. So uh, I click it here. The type is date. The second one in my data is date as well, but I don't select, I don't need to select it because I selected before. So uh, I should uh, select the other content. Uh, be careful, pay attention, please. Uh, you know, when we want to uh, calculate different indices, we need to different uh, input data, methodological data. So uh, it depends on your data and your files. You know, I have different data here, Ma minimum temperature, maximum temperature, rain, and mean temperature. So, uh, it depends uh, on myself. I want to assign, for example, uh, just uh, rain, like this. And the last one is uh, the average of uh, temperature, T mean, like this one. If you don't want to assign the others, no problem. You can don't select anything for the as the header. Okay, 
uh, another point is related to this icon. First row is header. As you see here, we have a row here as the header. If you don't have it in your file, so you can unsign it. I assign this option but uh, I have a header here in my data so I click it the first row is the header okay my data here is in daily scale I click it if the input data in monthly format uh, you should select this one if is in yearly you should uh, select the uh, third one it depends on your data exactly okay if all the things now uh, finished you can uh, click on load data but the important tips here is related to the to your data pay attention here I want to uh, say other tips I will uh, say other tips to you at the second step uh, be careful about this point uh, I remain uh, here without any header okay uh, so at the end of this step you should click load data after a while, if all the things is true, you can see this message, data loaded. Okay, click OK. And after that, you can go to second step, the second main step for calculating your intent road indices. In this page, you see the different indices here. Some of them are, uh, I mean, that uh, highlighted, but the other is not highlighted so and activate or maybe deactivate like this indices you know uh, if this uh, you can uh, calculate the highlighted or activated indices why because the input data related to indices in the uh, in the prayer uh, step uh, you know in this step i just um, i selected rain and just mean temperature so here all the indices that uh, need the temperature average temperature and precipitation are activated here in the other hand I can say the DMAP tool uh, like artificial tool because it uh, understand that which of indices uh, you can calculate them you know okay so in this step, I want to describe to you for calculating PDSI, so I click at PDSI. In the timing uh, panel, you can see the start at the end of the period that the input data are in this period. Okay, if you want to uh, uh, limit them, you can select, for example, 2005, but uh, I prefer to calculate all of them, for example, 2014 like that the input data the other panel is related to frequency uh, you can select yearly seasonally or maybe monthly uh, in this sample I prefer to calculate monthly so I click the monthly scale uh, it is not this panel not related to PDSI as you know in some is, uh, indices road indices you can calculate moving average such as SPI or maybe uh, CZI and the others but in PDSI we don't have any uh, concept uh, as a moving average okay all the things uh, uh, at this panel is finished the other important uh, panel is related to additional options so uh, you can see some of them are highlighted and activate and the, the rest is non-activate okay at the first uh, mm, I, I mean that blank you can see as, uh, about uh, soil uh, surface soil water capacity that you should uh, to write it uh, according to different papers and as well it, um, I mean that it depends uh, to your soil uh, water capacity in your region so if you don't have it it's better to use it as 25 millimeter and about available water capacity it as well depends on your uh, characteristics and the type of the soil of your case study but if you don't have it according to the papers it is better to uh, like this 150 millimeter and the other uh, option is related to latitude you can uh, you should uh, type here 
the de related latitude of the station uh, that you want, the case study, I mean that. So my case study is Mashhad, and the latitude of Mashhad is 36.6. Uh, it's around. And uh, the other options related to um, the method of uh, evapotranspiration. Uh, there is an important uh, tip available here. You know, if you have the uh, uh, evapotranspiration data at the first step, uh, you should uh, select the to, uh, I mean that um, the one of the column as uh, evapotranspiration if you have the data. If you don't have the data in your file, such as me, uh, this tool calculated for you uh, with two methods. Uh, one of them is torrin white and the other is hormone. So I want to calculate PDSI with a torrent right uh, method. The other, it, uh, you don't need to use uh, field capacity or the, uh, the last one. You need just this option that I described to you. Okay, all the things finished now, and so you can easily generate the PDSI relate to the start and the end of the period. Uh, okay, all the things finished now, and you can see this message index calculated. Okay. If you want to the data sent to the table to see them here, uh, click send to table. There's an option here, export to Excel file. You can click it, export to Excel file and save it as uh, Excel file. The other option here for uh, border of the road, if you want to calculate uh, the severity and the duration of PDSI here, you can uh, calculate it here at this panel, severity panel. Uh, pay attention to this point that, uh, as you know, we have different uh, the threshold for calculating different indices for severity. For the PDSI, it is better to uh, type here minus zero, minus 0.99. It is the level of uh, the road, uh, threshold of the road for PDSI as well for SPI and different uh, indices. Uh, you can obtain this level according to available papers, the original papers. The other tips about this option, more than or maybe less than, you know, in some indices such as KBDI here, uh, we need to uh, a level there short for more than, uh, for the level of, I mean, the, the level of severity of the drought. But for PDSI, you can select less than because uh, you you know for PDSI for SPI for DI and the other one the other um, indices uh, you should select it less than for uh, this uh, I mean that for uh, clarify the road levels okay uh, after click less than and uh, type the there show the border of the road you can click uh, you can select the every a year that you want for capture the level of the road. I click 1979 up to 2014 or maybe less than this for example 2010 and after that click severity. Okay it's really wonderful because you can easily see the uh, severity of the road and as well the deterioration of the road for example 1980 up to 1981 and as well, you can see the amount of a severity on the graph. For example, the, the most important and maybe severity of uh, the period is here. Uh, 100, around 100, the, uh, the number of the amount of the road that happens happen in this period, uh, 2000 up to 2003. Okay. Uh, you can save this, uh, you know, at this table, you can see a start of the road and the duration of the road. For example, uh, the first uh, drought even uh, was happened in 1980, as you can see here. And uh, the duration of the road, it's uh, 304 uh, days here. It's the duration is around these days. And the amount of the road at the first one is 7.4, like this one. The second one, the second event of the, the road happened, it was happened at 1983, like 
here and the amount is 12.52 like this one and the rest according to this table you can trace another events and it's really wonderful for capturing the and tracing the amount of uh, severity and as well the duration of the road in a case study in your case study you can save the chart export chart data to excel file and capture the data if you don't like this table you can uh, export this data to excel file and after that every graph that you want you can uh, draw it in uh, excel okay i want to click back for doing the rest of the uh, details okay uh, you can send the day as I told you before you can save this data to an excel file the other and the last panel in this applicable tool is related to plot you know uh, we have different options here chart option if you want to like for example a title like as your uh, mesh head as a um, as the I mean that the name of the station uh, as well uh, you can uh, select is if you want to uh, uh, appear on your uh, graph is a horizontal line you can click it here if you prefer to gray scale you can click it if you don't like you want to for example in color you can uh, don't sign here and as well you can uh, select a color for your chart like this one or maybe like the other one it depends on your uh, behavior or in your selection at the last one the type of pot the, the type of plot I love it box plot okay uh, you, you remember that uh, the frequency that we selected is monthly so if you click box plot here when you plot it you can see this exciting ta uh, graph here from January to December and it's really wonderful uh, to present it in a paper or in a report it's really good if you want to for example a linear one you can click a linear one and after that click plot you can see as well here the amount of PDSI here uh, with different years that you, you have selected here okay in, in in columnar you can see this one it uh, it's the other type of uh, a graph here but the most important things in my opinion these data because if we have the amount of the road and as a the severity of the road indices after that we can export this data to excel file and easily uh, Draw, uh, draw everything that I, we want in a graph in Excel file. Okay, I think all the things here is finished. And uh, as you see, DMAP is um, one of the best tool that AgriMessoft team uh, has uh, developed it. Uh, we, decided, we decided to develop it and improve it to the third version. And we hope we can do the best. Thank you so much for your attention. Have a nice day.